Maria Jastrzemska. I'm a poet, a writer and editor. Well, my aim was to get everybody writing poetry and the theme was home. So I got them talking, I got them reading, we read a couple of poems with a the theme of home. Um, in, we read everything in Polish um, because that was the uh, language of the group. And, um, and the other thing I got everyone to do was to choose a power animal to help them along. And um, one of the things I said to the guys was that I wanted them to start thinking as poets and that a power animal might help them write. And it also introduced the idea of metaphor and simile. And so we got, um, everybody was writing about home, but from the point of view of their power animal. I think they did um, more than I'd expected, really, because um, I think there were a few um, guys there who write some poems themselves but I think the vast majority don't and what they said uh, when we went round in the introductions was that their knowledge of poetry had stopped at primary school level so given that um, I think they really did and I think they really got it and once they realized that they could just express themselves and the, their own stories through it um, they really took to it like ducks to water. Well, I was really pleased. I was a bit nervous, um, as you are with every new group. Um, and I, I was overwhelmed by how eager everybody was to communicate, uh, how much everyone joined in. And I was actually very touched by the things that people wrote because they were beautiful. I enjoyed it immensely. I, I had a great time and I loved the interaction that I had with them and, um, and I think they did too. Everybody came and shook my hand at the end and people wrote fabulous things and, you know, you know job done as far as I can see. Um, that, that was my aim, to get everybody writing and, and they did and hopefully uh, poetry is more accessible to them now and, and I hope they'll, they'll go back to it. So this is a poem from my latest book at the Library of Memories and I write quite a lot about home anyway and home was the theme that we talked about in the workshop and we talked in the workshop about how home can be a very safe, lovely place that we long for but sometimes it can be a tricky, uncomfortable or unsafe place and that, that was something we talked about. So this is a, a poem I'd like to read uh, it's about home, though actually it's about trees. The Cedars of Walpole Park. Their dark shapes stand out from the white sky, vast, statuesque, and tall as liners moored on the grass. They are dreaming ships in a green ocean of hours. You could look up into the blue sprig crown of a tree like this. You can kick and flay, you can slash its broad trunk, feel its thick, ridged bark rub your cheek. You could be left against a tree like this. You can pray, pick up spicy brown cones, fall asleep beneath a tree like this. If you weep under it, if you retch or lose your mind, if you can't go home, you can climb into its flat, open boughs. You can sail away in a tree like that.